we have to stop placing people name animals. Whoever named these animals was higher than a kite and I can prove it. King Cobra Not a cobra and no one knows why he proclaims to be king but he managed to get some information. Apparently, it can kill an elephant in one bite, its favorite dish are other snakes, even venomous ones, and it can stand up to directly look me in the eyes. At that point, I decided to stop asking questions and to no further doubt the legitimacy of his title. The Honey Badger Elephants can survive King's Cobra bites, but you know who can, that's right, the Honey Badger. Not a badger, more closely related to weasels, and to be more precise, they are a subspecies of demons from hell. And I wouldn't put honey at the top of what they are known for, because if the honey badger had a resume, it would be the most impressive thing you have ever seen. Koala bear. Not a bear, and this is how you can remember it. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night. If it's a koala, get ready for some drama. Because good luck explaining to your partner that you got chlamydia on your trip to Australia by petting a koala. Because they all have it. Strange Tale Tyrant This one I have a lot to say about, because despite what you have been told, the bird elections of 87 was in fact a major scandal. I have been informed of my misinformation. All hail the strange tale, all hail his magnificence. Mountain goat, not a goat, closer to antelopes than goats, and if you want to see one, this is how it goes. Ground, mountain, clouds, more mountain than mountain goats. Because they can live up to 4000 meters above the ground, so good luck doing a half Mount Everest to check one out, and if you do, just know, their horns are not just for show, they are very territorial, and the way back to the ground floor will be a lot faster than your way up. Killer Whale Not a whale, just a big dolphin, but talk to any seal and they would confirm the killer part. They have the same lifespan as humans, and they are the top predator. But of course they are, because with 10 meters in length, 5000 kilos in weight, and this killer smile, they tend to make the rules. Red-lipped batfish. Not a bat, also doing a horrible job at being a fish. Because this monstrosity can hardly swim, it walks on the ocean floor with its fins. They actually walk underwater like hippos. But red-lipped hippofish isn't much better. No one can figure out why they have red lips and I honestly don't want to know. Vampire squid. Not a squid, but a cephalopod, seems to be immune to garlic and most of them don't mind the cross. This is starting to get ridiculous, I am just going with the scientific name on this one. Vampire toitus infernalis. So vampire squid from hell, because of course it's worse. The peacock mantis shrimp. Not a peacock, not a mantis, and also not a shrimp. Actually more related to lobsters, it looks pretty, but try to hold one and you will be using nine fingers for a while. Because it has the power to one-shot its prey with a solid uppercut, you can't even keep them in normal aquariums because they just crack them open. Mountain chicken. Seems about right. Wanderpus photogenicus. When a German scientist thinks you are hot, and have wonderful feet, and these feet look especially good on camera, you end up with the name Van der Poos Photogenicus. Because of course it had to be a German. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.